Ron Atchison for AutoForge.net and in this video review we're going to be taking a look at some products from a couple of different manufacturers. We're going to be using the McKees 37 floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator and we're also going to be using Koshimi's gummy fix. So I've got the floor mats out of a Jeep Gladiator that I just got done detailing. Everything on the vehicle looks great except for the floor mats. So I'm going to show you how to clean them up and restore them to a really nice black satin finish that is not slippery. So let me take you outside and we'll get to cleaning up these mats. All right, so as you can see, the rest of the vehicle looks great. Beautiful color, beautiful, beautiful truck. Great big huge tires on it. But you get to this part of it and that really lets everything down. No matter how well you clean the interior and dress everything in there, when you look down you get just ugly floor mats. So let's get to cleaning these and I'll show you how you make them look really nice. All right, so the process is actually very, very simple. Simply take your garden hose, rinse off all the loose debris. Then you're going to want to take your McKees 37 floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator. Spray a generous amount of that onto there. These aren't WeatherTech brand mats, they're actually Jeep brand, but it's basically Jeep's version of a WeatherTech mat, so it's basically the same material. So if you've got actual WeatherTech mats, the process will be exactly the same. All right, so now that we've got that sprayed on there, put a little water on our brush. For this brush, this is the Auto Forge floor mat and cargo liner utility brush. I really like using this brush. It's nice and soft. Creates a lot of suds. Gets down into all the nooks and crannies really well. And then for the tougher areas where your feet are typically at, I've got the Auto Forge low profile tire brush. I'll give those areas an extra little scrub with something a little bit more aggressive. Move on to the next mat. So as you can see, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Once you got everything going, doesn't take hardly any time to do it. So once you've got them all scrubbed up, all you do is simply rinse them off.
All right. Dump all the excess water off. So now at this point, you can simply let them air dry in the sun or I'm going to speed up the process and use my McKees 37 mini car dryer, blow them off. All right, so I've got the mats probably 95% dry. Um, before you apply the gummy fix though, you wanna make sure that they're 100% dry. So I'm gonna leave these sit here in the sun for a few minutes. And once they are 100% dry, I'll come back and show you how to apply the gummy fix. So stand by, be back in a few minutes. All right, so the mat is totally dry now. So I've taken a piece of tape and put a line down the middle. This is the driver's side floor mat. Uh, I chose this one basically because it's going to be having the most wear and tear out of all the mats. So as you can see, even with it clean, it still just doesn't look that good. So when you apply Gummy Fix, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can transfer it from this bottle into a spray bottle if you wish. And spray it directly onto the mat or the trim or floor covering that you're going to be doing. Or you can simply leave it in this bottle. It's got a nice little top with a small hole. To apply it, I'm going to put it on a McKees 37 tire and trim applicator sponge. I really like this sponge for a couple of reasons. The way it's designed, there's basically a layer there where the two sponges are glued together. So the product will only go into the black part of the sponge. So it actually saves you product in the end. And the gray is rigid, so it gives you a nice handle to hold on to got nice straight edges on it so that you can cut in real well but so I got the gummy fix in there and all you simply do is rub it on making sure that you cover all of the areas The product flashes and dries very quickly. So it's not like it's something that you're going to put on here and you got to wait an hour before you can use the vehicle again. So now I got a nice even coat on there. We'll give that a few minutes to dry and we'll pull the tape off and I'll show you the end result. All right, so the gummy fix has had a chance to dry. So let's go ahead and pull the tape off of here and see how well of a job it did. It's like a pretty dramatic difference to me. This is obviously the side with the gummy fix on it. As you can see, it's nice and black. Got a few scuff marks that are still there, but you know, it's not going to repair damage, but it definitely made the floor mat nice and black again. It's not slippery at all compared to the untreated side that's looking all worn and kind of beat up. I'd say it's a pretty dramatic difference. It's a nice product. Works well.
very simple to use. All right, so that was a couple of products from a couple of different manufacturers. First product we looked at was McKee's 37 floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator. You may be asking yourself, do I need a special cleaner to, to wash my floor mats? Well, yes you do because products like this are specifically designed and formulated to work with rubber and vinyl floor mats. And oftentimes if you're using all-purpose cleaners from the big box stores, they use uh, really harsh solvents and stuff and they actually accelerate the wear and the dullness to your floor mat. So using a dedicated product like this will actually keep your floor mats looking nicer longer and not accelerate the dullness and the just overall bad look of your floor mats. The next product we used was Koshimi Gummy Fix. As you saw, this is a very simple product to use. It turned those dull gray looking floor mats to a nice black satin finish. Uh, they are not slippery at all. Does a great job of restoring them. You can also use this on any of the interior plastic surfaces, uh, like a commercial vehicle that has a big rubber mat instead of carpeting. You can use this on the whole floor mat in that vehicle to make the whole thing look really nice. Excellent, excellent product. And for brushes, we use the Auto Forge floor mat cargo liner utility brush. This is a very nice brush. It's soft, but yet it's stiff enough that it'll get down into the grains and around the lettering and the nooks and crannies in your floor mat. It does an excellent job. And then for the tougher areas, we use the Low Profile Auto Forge tire brush. So if you'd like to learn any more information on McKee's 37 products or Koshimi line of products, please visit autoforge.net. We sell the entire line of McKee's 37 products there. And we have a wide variety of Koshimi products all the way from the gummy fix to polishing pads and everything in between. So I hope you found the video informative. If you did, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever a new video comes out. This is Ron Atchison for autoforge.net. Thanks for watching.